I this is little dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with the DLC for Alan Wake. Played blind. I played the signal last time, so that leaves me with the writer. Let's go. Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? Dark place, stranger. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, Wake? Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. So I guess this continues directly from where the first DLC ended. And to be honest, the first one seemed kind of pointless to me because nothing was accomplished in the end. I guess this will uh, crumble the wall? Hmm, but I can't reach it, so... That's the point. Hmm. It doesn't go further than this. Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sure. I, I understand. Swing it. I did. I understand that if I activate this, it's going to make the wall crumble, but. Ah, okay. That's actually a little bit clever. I'll give it that. To accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. Mm, surprise. Is it going to be a good surprise or a bad surprise? I guess kind of both. Mm, I don't have a gun yet though. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sick, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. 
Yeah, he's even recapping the events of the last DLC, which didn't really lead into anything. Like, I was at the end, I was still trapped in the dark place, so it's it's like nothing was really accomplished. In it, and I felt like it was mostly made to just milk more money out of people who were fans of the vanilla game. Like, I bought it all as a bundle, so I don't particularly care. Uh, pick up Night Springs video game. Ah, so okay, this is this DLC's Thermos. I couldn't care less about it, to be honest. Because uh, the, the coffee thermoses in the vanilla game didn't do anything either. Like, they, they were literally pointless. They were the type of a collect collectible that does nothing except existing. job, Al! So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Okay, I can't enter the vehicle. I guess I'm going on foot. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. We heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. <laughs> it didn't take long. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. We heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors. Oh hell yeah! Remember this Al? Basically, that's where this game errs, because it assumes that because I played the main game, I'm somehow good at it, but I'm not. Not in the slightest, actually. Let's go. Anything here? Get inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. Yeah, I know. I'm just checking for supplies and stuff.
See, Al? This is classic you. Always making things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Uh, yeah. So, I guess you're gonna need to talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah, that was a crutch, you know. Man, you're moving up in the world, buddy. Zane. You have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The Dark Presence made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. Okay, that's different. Will it actually f like fly through the air? Yes, it will. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place. do about it the world was tilted it was turning upside down wake was lost he would fall and I guess I'm supposed to jump on it when it's upside down and use it as a bridge and that's at least a little bit creative visually I guess Okay, that's... <laughs> the world was tilted! It was turning upside down! Wake was lost! He would fall! There's nothing else around, so I guess that that is what I'm supposed to do. I just jumped wrong. Hm. Although, maybe I'm supposed to wait until it turns all the way around again, because it's a little bit too far, I feel like, to actually get there. Okay, that's another one of those games, but I don't care about it because it's just a random collectible that does nothing. Hmm. But to be honest, if I get inside, I think I will still be... Like, it's still kind of pointless, because... Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to... Ah, right. Because the other door was closed, right? The wind is picking up. 
weight was too high. Too high! At this height, the water would be like hitting concrete. You can't want me dead this the bad. The storm was coming! It would throw him off! Okay, so basically, I'm supposed to jump on those different objects, I guess. And get lower, so that I survive. Looks like some kind of a ticket booth, but I cannot do anything with it, so. The storm spun him around! It was made of darkness! He'd seen what it could do! It swept everything away! I would have to make my way through the swirling madness. It reminded me of the dark presence, just another memory, but it could still kill me. There's another path on the other side. Hm. I'm getting higher, higher instead of lower, lower. But I guess this is the path. Like I didn't, didn't see any other path, so. Yeah, checkpoint reached, so... I have to give it to this DLC that it's at least a, li a little bit... Um, Stay focused on the lighthouse. If you can reach it, you will find the path. Things are getting pretty crazy here, Zane. It's to be expected. Your struggle to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain, but each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. It's at least a little bit visually creative. Which now is that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Which is more than I could say for the previous DLC. Hmm. Okay, so explosive barrels then. I guess I could use them against my enemies. Okay, that kind of seems like a waste, but... I didn't know they would all appear at once. I assumed... Um. Okay, I need to go down there somewhere, how? I doubt jumping down is going to work. I'm probably going to die.
Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. I think I'm going the right direction. What did it say? Hide or hole? Uh, hole. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need to go down to activate it. And I guess it will create a hole inside for me to actually go through. It seems... Oh, maybe I need to... Ah, okay. That, that subverted my expectations. Kind of. Okay, nothing on the TV. have 20 flares uh, and checkpoint reached so I guess this was a right way to go Quake was forced to run through a maze hopelessly sprinting in the wheel never getting anywhere his life in miniature it was useless Is this going to literally be like a wheel? I get, yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so at least, as I said, this, this DLC gets points for creativity in visual design. Because that's pretty cool. It could move a little bit faster. Uh, okay, there's a light there. Which presumably means... Huh, I just typed out wake. Which I somehow don't think was coincidental. Yeah. Uh, am I supposed to follow him? This 
Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? Let's have a look at your head, Mr. Wake. I have to ah th this will roll away but okay that's that's cool that's cool and I kind of appreciate that uh, checkpoint reached okay there was an arrow down here hmm kind of trippy. The perspective is is messing with my head a little bit, which I do understand is the point. I think I'm going this way. But I must have went the, the right way because uh, there was a checkpoint uh, on the way. Yeah, I think I'm going this way. It could turn a little bit faster though. I know tedious to wait for it. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Why did I die this time? But there's no other way to go, so I have, to, I have to go there. I just have to plan it a little bit differently. Mm, although maybe I'm going over to here? Wait, this goes back, doesn't it? I think it does actually. Although, yeah. Although, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting confused, which again, I do realize is exactly the point. Uh, I think I came from here. back there like I kind of don't understand what I'm doing uh, it seems kind of certain I do need to at least jump down here wait okay, there's some kind of a vault door around here which seems important but I can't survive this drop I do feel... I do... 
I am kind of trapped here now. So I'm not sure what to think about that. Though I guess if it turns, I maybe can go this way. Hopefully there's a checkpoint soon so that I don't have to keep repeating that. Hmm. Okay, that's annoying. soon. Am I going in a circle or no? I guess if I get a checkpoint then the answer is no. I, I was there. Mm, I am going to die though, so... I guess I'm screwed. Which is annoying because... Uh, it's quite a large beat to repeat. I guess I'm supposed to wait until this becomes the floor? Which I guess makes more sense than what I kept doing. I just, you know, the, the perspective is kind of messing me up. Uh, 
I'm actually pretty sure I'm dead again. Yeah, freak! basically back to where I was. Wait, so was I going backwards the entire time? I literally don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Going in a loop. And also potentially slowly going insane. I've literally been here. This is the place with the arrow, which points to over here. Which I guess is at least a bit of a clue, but. opened because of the because of the rotation oh for fuck's sake I wonder if it's saved the other time where even am I Okay, so it's closed, so I do have to go... Hmm... I guess maybe I don't have to go all the way around, I just have to... Wait for it to rotate once over here, and then... I guess it will open the door because of the direction of the rotation? That's, that's clearly... that has to be where I have to go, because... Uh, because obviously the door was closed before, and it even points to this corridor. Nothing has happened, so... Do I need to go all the way around? After all... Hmm, 
Maybe I do, in which case it's kind of annoying. I can't really interact with this vault door. Okay, I don't really understand what happened, but hopefully I'll get a checkpoint at least. An elevator? Sure, why not? Next stop, Sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the Dark Place, I haven't found a way. Stucky's Gas Station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Okay, but this episode has been long enough. Kind of confusing, but also kind of cool. I have to admit, this DLC is at least more interesting from a visual standpoint. It does a couple of interesting things uh, with, the, with perspective specifically. Mm, so it has that as an advantage over the other. Uh, it has also been a little confusing for me because I'm not good at finding directions even in regular looking uh, spaces. But uh, that's on me, not on the game. Anyway, this has been long enough, so that's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye!